so it's very rare that I ever forget to upload a video. Our video schedule is basically shoot, upload, done. That's sort of it. But unfortunately today, I have made that mistake, which I have not made yet in almost 800 video releases. However, it has been done and I've forgotten to release a video. Now this video was shot way back in January and we are currently in March. However, I do still feel that it is a valid video for you guys to go ahead and watch. So with that, we're going back a little bit in time to see an early video we made that I forgot to go ahead and release to the YouTube internet. So with that, let's get into it and go. <laughs> Hey guys, CP Moddy here, back with another video, and today we're here using our memory sticks for a lot more than just storing files. So if you've ever thought about having a physical key for your laptop, desktop, or various other PC, then chances are you've looked into some of the options, and quite frankly, they've been quite scattered to say the least. However, today we're going to be taking a look at Predator and what it has to offer. Now if you have a lot of people using one computer, or you just want the super security of having a physical item item to lock and unlock your computer, Predator might be the program for you. Now it runs on I believe PC, Mac, Linux and just about anything really and there are many different options from free to paid and everything else in between so there's definitely a lot of options out there. So with that being said, let's get into what we have here with Predator today. Now first and foremost we need our memory stick that we're going to be using. Predator's website and also too I do recommend going ahead and using an older memory stick as it is going to be used as a key rather than something to store stuff on so it would be a lot easier just to have an old one that doesn't have much storage be your key for your computer however it's really up to you what you use we've got ourselves a little sandisk cruiser 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 however you pronounce that branding a uh, little flash drive here it's an 8 gigabyte unit and whilst it is 8 gigs it's still relatively small in today's market for our computer we're just using a laptop pc which is our ultimate ultrabook project that is got a nice big box around it so you guys can't exactly see it and obviously we have the Predator software itself. So with that being said let's first jump into some sort of pros and cons into using this particular software. First and foremost we'll start with the positives and the first thing that it starts off with is the simplicity of unlocking your computer. Rather than having to type long passwords or really confusing ones to make sure your computer is safe, simply chucking a memory stick in the USB port will unlock your device. Also too this program can also to act as an alarm so if someone tries to open up your computer and and use it without the memory stick, an alarm will sound and well let everyone know that well this person's using your computer. Also too, it's just simply faster as I mentioned at the start, it just is so much easier than going ahead and typing a password. Finally too, it's also too a lot simpler, it's a key that plugs in and it's unlocked and it's pretty simple there, unplug it and you are done. Though there are some negatives, mainly being if you lose that memory stick, your computer is now locked until you can figure out a way to unlock it. There's no sort of like I forgot or I've lost my key you've just lost it and now your computer is locked down and may need a fresh install of Windows to unlock it, which is never really a good thing. Also too, it's not that good in the fact that, well, if someone gets a hold of that key, now they can get into your computer as well. So if they take your computer and your key, well, they've now got keys to your computer in a literal sense. And then finally, anyone can simply access it because they don't need to ask you for the password. If you leave the memory stick lying around or something, they can grab it and get into your laptop. So there are some problems there. However, let's go ahead and get started. If you think this is an awesome program, let's see how to set it up and how to use it. So we'll kick things off by jumping down into their website and first we are greeted by this website which looks quite dodgy and looks like they're going to try and steal your money with weird old school pictures of like 4x3 monitors playing Minecraft and things like that. However, it is a fairly legit site. Now this site is linked down below if you want to go ahead and grab your own copy. So just going ahead and looking through their website again does look quite dodgy however it is okay. You do get the options of buying it or you can just use it for free like we have for this video. And 
and it gives you some scenarios of how you can use this particular software. You can use it for things like limiting access time to computers, managing multiple accounts, or just managing multiple different computers, which I really do like the idea of having multiple different memory sticks set up for multiple different accounts in a computer, rather than having to get people to log off and log on and remember passes, all those kind of things, have three or four memory sticks to log into three or four different accounts. So with that, what we would do is normally go up to the top, hit the download tabs and let that load up, and then go ahead and click on the download button. But however, our internet is relatively slow, so we've gone ahead and downloaded it already. We're gonna go ahead and get it in this kind of a package with the installer and all those good things, and we're gonna go ahead and launch the installer and run it on our computer. We're gonna go ahead and hit next right there, and we're going to agree to that because that's the only option that we have. We're gonna hit next and we're going to hit next again. Now, if you've already had it installed before, you can go ahead and uh, click that little box. However, we're just gonna leave it as it is. So we've clicked next. We're gonna install it on our C drive because that's the only drive in this particular notebook and it's ready to go ahead and install. So we're gonna hit next and it's going ahead and installing. Now, whilst the installer is going, it is a fairly lightweight and easy to run program. As you can see, we get a little prompt right here, which we're gonna hit okay and the computer is going through and installing. As I mentioned, it is really lightweight and is super quick to install. We've finished the install and we are done at this point. And we can head down to the start menu if we're on a PC or the application folders if you are on a Mac and we can go down and type in Predator. Boom, there is the application and we can open it up. Alrighty, so once we load up the program, we will be greeted by this screen telling us that before we can use the program, we need to set some things up. So we're gonna hit OK and get started. Now this password here is going to be used if you do happen to lose that memory stick. So for this example, we're gonna use uh, our CP modder branding just as the backup password for what we've got here. So as the password, we've got that. Now for the memory stick, we're gonna be using our eight gigabyte drive. Now that's the only thing that's plugged into the laptop at the moment, so that's the only thing that is showing up. So we're gonna hit okay for the password being CP modder and the device being the eight gigabyte thumb drive. Once we hit okay, it's gonna go ahead and prep that. It's also too gonna save a file to the memory stick and it's going to start monitoring. So if we look down here in the bottom right hand corner, we can see that monitoring is on. We can go down and see that there is also to a new icon added to the system tray down here. We can go ahead and right click and head over to preferences and that's where we're going to start off with this uh, little program. So as we can see here we have this key enabled on our devices highlighted in blue and that's really all that matters there. We can go up and change the password if we've forgotten it or something like that though if you've forgotten it you can't really type in the current password but nevertheless we can go ahead and change the password there but up here under monitoring is the most important part. We want to change the read intervals from 30 seconds down to 5 and the write from 60 down to 10. Now this is the smallest values you can enter for these and basically what this means is how fast it's going to lock and unlock the computer. Now again these are the smallest values so there we have it. So we can hit OK on that one and now the settings are saved. Now I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to go with our screen recorder. We might have to switch over to some B-roll here. However, we're going to go ahead and do an example. So we have the memory stick plugged in at the moment and the PC is unlocked. If we go ahead and unplug it, we'll be able to see that in just a moment the screen goes black and well, now we can't go ahead and use the computer. The mouse is locked and we get a warning that Predator is here. We can type in the password if we want and unlock the computer as we can see right there but the key is still unplugged. So we'll give an example if we go ahead and plug the memory stick back in, we can see that it shows up on the computer down again in the bottom right hand corner. If we unplug it, we can go ahead and lock the computer once again. As we can see here, once again, the screen has gone black and we have a warning right here on the screen. Now we'll quickly throw the memory stick right in before that countdown timer runs out. And as we can see, it has unlocked our computer once again. Now one more thing we will want to do whilst going ahead and playing around with the preferences is go ahead and start with Windows if you want this feature to turn on when your computer turns on. Now obviously you can tweak some other settings, you can fix things and you can add more accounts and all those good things. However, that was the basics of going ahead and setting up Predator to use on your computer. Once again, we can just click OK to that, pop out the memory stick and the computer will go ahead and lock itself. If we go ahead and plug the memory stick back in, we can go ahead and see that the computer unlocks itself 
yourself and it's a relatively fast and simple thing to go ahead and do. There's also two other features within this program that allows me to go ahead and set alarms, timers, so for example a certain memory stick will only allow certain amounts of time on the computer and a lot of other settings like that. It's actually a really powerful piece of software. Now that that's done we also too need to tackle the question of what happens if we lose that memory stick and what do we do with our computer? Well first thing we can type in that password that we set and also to how I showed you just a minute where that little screen comes up. But there have been times when this software has glitched out leaving me locked out of my computer. So to do this it's actually a really simple task. What we're going to do is go ahead and just in this situation shut down or in our case restart the computer which is what you'll need to do. If you're locked out just hold the power button until the screen goes black, all the fans turn off and the computer is clearly powered down. Once it's gone ahead and powered down we can power up the device again and we'll show you in just a moment how to go ahead and set your computer and get rid of this program because you may be in a bit of a situation if you forget the password. Now that we're at the lock screen of our Windows 10 PC, we can go ahead and type in our password. So once that password is gone ahead and typed in, what we now need to do is get ready to head down to the taskbar and open up the task manager. What we're going to do is now start to look out for when Predator comes up in this app tray. As we can see here, Predator has popped up and before it loads up, we're going to quickly end task to stop it going ahead and starting to monitor. Once it starts to monitor and realizes that there's no memory stick in there, it's going to lock your computer and you're going to be locked out once again. Now that we've cancelled the program, we can easily head to add and remove programs and uninstall Predator to get it off of our system. And that's basically all that we need to do to unlock our computers if we're locked in with Predator. Alternatively, you could do a fresh install, but that's a whole lot of work when we could just force close it and go ahead and run it like so. One more thing I also too did want to show was what actually comes up on your memory stick. So if we head over to this PC and open up our USB drive, we can see we get two files, or in fact one file and one folder, added to our system. We get what is looking like an empty folder but has some other stuff in there and our Predator code right here that corresponds with the memory stick and the numbers within the actual software. So it's really great there. You could even go ahead and store files in this system, just make sure you don't delete these two. Otherwise, well, that's the same thing as losing your key. So you do want to keep those two files there, otherwise you're in a spot of problems. And that's about it for today's video. It's an awesome idea turning a USB key into a simple locking mechanism for a computer. There are a ton of positives and also to a ton of negatives, such as actually losing the key will lose access to the computer. However, if you have a lot of people or you want to manage time on a computer, having this feature is really, really handy. So guys, with that being said, let me know what you guys think of Predator. If you want any help with setting it up, let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out there. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.